Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create an Android Studio project and add it to Git and then push that repo to GitHub and then how to pull it back. So basically how to use GitHub and Git uh, only within Android Studio. And uh, so obviously this is for Android Studio, but uh, this it should work pretty much the same for all the JetBrains products. So JetBrains is the company that makes Android Studio. They also make IntelliJ and WebStorm and several other IDEs. And they're all very, 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 very similar. Basically just the same thing, but different colors and different programming languages. Uh, so there we go. So I have here, this is just sort of the hello world project you get when you say file new project. And I pick one of those, so I get the basic Android project just to show. Uh, so it runs, you know, we can run it, and it runs fine. Make sure your project runs, compiles and runs. And then now we're gonna add it to Git. So the first thing is I'm gonna add this project to a local Git repo. To do that, I go uh, VCS, version control system, import into, and we're gonna create a Git repository. So uh, you see it already chose the wrong one layout. I want to actually put the Git repo in the project folder. So in this case, you notice that uh, my project is called video demo is on the temp folder because, you know, just a demo, uh, but uh, it's called video demo. So you want to select the root folder, not a subfolder within it as, as was the case before. Okay. So I do that and uh, there, it just took a little second and it creates an empty Git repo. We can go in at this point, uh, I can uh, go to temp and CD to the video demo, Oops, ls all. So I can see I have the .git folder right there and that is my Git repo, my local Git repo. And so we're all good. Uh, but if you do, you know, git status, for example, we can see that uh, basically nothing has been tracked because I haven't made my first commit. So I want to make my first commit uh, from within Android Studio. So this is the commit button here. I click it and I get that. No changes detected. So that's confusing, right? Um, so what, what's happening here is, so close that, go over here to version control and See, this, t this shows you these are all the files that have changed, and then you have this default here. So what it is is that Android Studio uses something called, it calls change lists, right? So there's a change list is just a list of files that have changed. There's always a change list called default, and uh, that is the one that we use by default. And right now that list is empty. You see, they're all over here. So what you have to do is just take this, click there, then drag and drop all these over there. And now you see default has 48 files. Now you go back and commit again. And now boom, you get all the files. So uh, this is the, your commit. So these are the files that are, you know, in the staging area in the index and they're all checked. You know, you can uncheck them and check them again. They're all checked, so they're all ready to get committed. Uh, you see over here, you see this is the change list default. We only have one, and when you're starting out, that's all you're gonna have, so for now, we're good. And over here is where you write your commit mes message. So I'm gonna write first commit for my first commit message. And finally over here, these are the things that are gonna, Android Studio is gonna do for you just before it does the commit. And uh, as you learn more, you might want to check some of these, but to start with, just don't do anything. Uh, you just hit commit over here, and boom, uh, everything was committed. All your 48 files were committed. Um, great. Now I want to push this to GitHub. So uh, one way, we might go over here to version control system. Um, uh, where was that? Uh, we, want, we could go here to share project on GitHub. And uh, when we do that, it asks, you know, for a new repository name, remote name, uh, origin, and the script. So basically just put a little description here. So this would work, but it would put the repo under my username at GitHub. 
And what I want to do for this demo is put my repo under an org. So not under my username, but under an organization on GitHub. So I'm going to cancel. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is uh, just go under Git and push. And then it says, you know, I have to define the remote and put in the URL. So I don't have a URL. I have to go back to actual GitHub. So here I am on the, my GitHub page. I'm going to create my new repository. I'm going to call it video demo, make it public, create a repository. And uh, now I have a new repository. You see it's got the, the front page it looks like this because I haven't pushed anything into it. So what I'm going to do is just copy this URL here. And that is what I'm going to use over here. So I'm just telling it to push over to that new empty repository and say push it says default updating push successful and so it looks like it works we go over here we reload the page and yes indeed it worked so that works let's just do a one quick commit i'm going to go over here and just change that uh let's say i'm going to change that hello world uh to hello world i changed this so make a little change. Nice. Uh, and then I can commit it. So you see, now I only have one file that shows up. And indeed, that file says I changed from hello world to this. So you can always here, you can select the file. And then down here, it'll show you the changes that you just made. You always want to double check, make sure that that is what you re really want to commit. So then you add your message. And now you can select commit and push in one action. So then I'm push. So one action I committed. Well, at first I committed and then I pushed it successful to Origin Masters. And now when we go here, so we have one commit, I reload the page, and then it shows the two commits. And uh, my second commit shows that, you know, the change that I made. Awesome. Okay, so that's great. Now, uh, let's say, you know, that was the first developer. So let's say the second developer that's working on the same team comes in and, you know, he or she wants, you know, to clone it on his laptop. So how do you do that? Uh, well, there's this uh, here. I'm going to copy. You go over here, you copy the URL, All right? And then I'm going to go under Android Studio File, New, Import, uh, Project from Version Control, GitHub. And when you do that, it's going to pop this up with all my GitHub repos. But, yeah, I just forgot to mention, uh, that's not going to work for you just yet because bef uh, it works for me now because I already set up GitHub. To set up GitHub in Android Studio, you have to go here, Preferences, and uh, just search for GitHub. It's under um, Version Control, GitHub. And if you go there, uh, you can um, set up your GitHub. Basically, you're just going to set up, you know, host this GitHub, log in your username, your GitHub username, you put in your password, and that's it. Right? You just set that up once and you're done uh, remember when you do this you should uh, it's going to ask you to set up an android studio master password the first time and you should definitely do that right so i'm android studio will have a master password that's going to use to encrypt the github password and any other passwords you might have there's a bunch of them. you can go to file new github And then I just choose, it's called video demo right there. And so the first one is under my temp directory. I'm going to put this under a different directory, obviously, because otherwise it's going to overwrite the first one. So clone it. And uh, I'm going to open this in a new window so I can have both projects open just to show you. So is it? Down here it says it's processing, processing, Gradle, build, running, running. This is, you know, if you have a big project, this could take a while. 
you wait and wait in the thing and uh, yep, then we're done then you can click over here project and you see your project is there um, let's open the strings file so I'm gonna make a change to this file open navigation drawer please right and uh, so normally I would compile it and run it make sure that everything works I'm not gonna do that now I'm gonna assume it works bad idea and so I'm just gonna hit the commit button and you see it says you know strings is the only file that has changed and uh, down here I can see the change please so add please it's gonna be my commit message I'm gonna uncheck these again and I'm gonna commit and push my new change push and push successful let's check it on github uh, I can reload now it should be three commits and the add please commit is the latest commit and it just changed that one file so that's it